What's up everybody? So today is February 21st. We are going out to Lake Barcroft to fish with our buddy Jay. Yesterday was 80 degrees. Today is going to be 80 degrees. You know, I'm really hoping that this warm weather is going to get these fish moving and a little bit active. He said he was out yesterday and hooked into a few, caught a couple nice ones and missed a couple really big ones. And that's what I'm really hoping for is to get out and catch some of those Mondo pre-spawn bass today. Um, with this warm weather, you know, we have had a really nice steady trend of weather over the last week. I'm thinking that they might really start turning on. I don't know what they're biting on. We're gonna get out here and just try to get bit, but hopefully uh, the bite's gonna be on. So I hope you guys are ready because I know I am. Well, Jay being the nice guy that he is, ran back home to grab me a seat because we accidentally left it. But once he gets back, we're getting out here on the water. I wanna know really quickly before we get out here, what would you guys do in these situations? So really steady weather all week. It's been in like the 50s and 60s. The last two days have been in the 80s. Water temperatures ranging from 44 to 46 today. It's probably gonna be even a little bit warmer. Um, the last few trips we've been out, everything's been really deep, and we were really struggling fishing under spins and Alabama rigs and even a blade bait. But what would you guys do in these conditions? We have partly cloudy day, probably 46 to 48 degree water temperatures. Pretty clear water, probably like three feet of visibility. And this is like a, I don't know, near probably 150 acre lake maybe let me know what you do Ooh, okay ready to go all right we are out on the water i just tied on this Iowa swim bait with a big blade on the back gotta try dragging this around on the bottom my buddy will gave me this let's see if we'll uh get anything to bite time for a jig I have yet to catch a fish on this freaking setup, but I feel like it's gonna happen. Ooh, baby. Why you gotta sound so mean? There's no fish here. <laughs> There's no fish here. All right, no fish yet. Change it up, change it up. Through the jig and that big, I say big, it's not really a big swim bait, but it's a swim bait. But I'm probably gonna take that off. I'm not really confident throwing this. <laughs> but I guess I can put on an A-Rig. All right, we got an Alabama rig tied up. This is the Shane's Baits Fifth Element. Got a bunch of the small three-inch Kitex on the outside, a 3.8-inch Kitex there, which looks disgusting. We're gonna have to fix that a bit. Probably put some dye on the tails just to bring it a little bit more attention, but for now, we're gonna try without it. I saw a video of Hello, spinnerbait. Ooh, this reel needs a little love. <laughs> Screaming at me. Sorry, it's gonna be annoying all day. The old water warrior special. Ooh. Here we go. I'm about to break down and put on the old shaky head with the black trick worm. 11.22, we've been out for about an hour and 20 minutes. Nothing yet. Moving along, moving along. Boop snacks. Mm-hmm, delicious. All right, I put the Mega Bass back on. Been doing a lot of switching baits today gonna find something they want oh god I'm so torn right here to throw the jerk bait or should I throw the trick worm oh, there we go yeah yeah first fish of the day oh he ate it too that he t-boned it jerk bait fish Oh, the hook, look at that. The hook's not even on his bottom lip. It's just pinned. pinned in there. Look at that. The bill got it pinned. Excuse me, buddy. Can you open up us a little bit more? I don't know how he even... You got one? Got one, too. Nice. Doubled up. Doubled. Jerk baits. Shallow. Nice. Look at that. We've been out for like three hours without a bite, and then we put these oh, jerk baits on. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. 
Not bad. See you, bud. They're about the same size, too. Yeah. Throw it back in there. I will. I think we found some fish, guys. <laughs> All right. And we doubled it. That's so funny. Next cast, Jay hooked up with the jerk bait, too. Oh, oh, I just, oh, I got one. Yeah. He's on. Might be a shad. It is a shad. That's a pretty good uh, comparison, though. Got a little bit of blue and purple, just like this Mega Bass 110. Oh, got him. He's he's probably a little smaller than the last one. Second fish of the day on the jerk bait. A little pounder. Got one. Oh, came off. That felt really big. Tell to be honest with you. What Ooh. the hell? Look at that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. This is a piranha? Bluegill. Whoa, sorry, bud. <laughs> he spiked me. Okay, so we've been out, I don't know how many hours, but we probably have like an hour and a half, two hours left. Got a few fish on jerk baits. That's been it. We started seeing a lot more shad. I don't know. Hopefully we can run into a big one or something. What do you think? What's the move? I think the move is um Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We're a little stumped. We've thrown I've thrown probably like eight baits. And only caught them on a jerk bait. But we'll see what happens. I think they're gonna turn on. The last hour of the day. We're both gonna catch like five pounders. Oh wow. We tried. I think we found him and ran away from him. <laughs> Looking back, it was a good day. Caught some fish. Uh oh. Got a few things to go over with you guys. Closing this video out, you know, I almost wasn't even gonna post this because we caught so few fish, but a couple things came to mind and I thought that it could make this video worthwhile for all of us to kind of share. So first I want to talk about um, one of the last things I said before we got off the water was talking about leaving the fish. So Jay and I both agreed. We kind of like found this spot where we caught those three fish on jerk baits and we missed a couple more. There was obviously bait in that area and there were just fish there. Um, and what we did was we just kept going down the bank and fished other similar spots, but those spots just didn't seem to hold many fish and we didn't get any more bites the rest of the day. And that one specific spot just seemed to really have all the action. And what we should have done is gone back and kind of fished over that area multiple times and maybe even keep going up that arm of the lake because we did cover a ton of water that day. We spent like six or seven hours out there and we caught those three fish literally in the one spot all on jerk baits too. Like we didn't get bit on trick worms. You, I mean, I don't even need to go over <clears throat> what I threw because you guys saw how much I was switching and how many different baits I was throwing. And the reason that I even put that in there is just to kind of share with you guys my mindset when I'm out there fishing and like what I'm throwing and why. And just to give you an idea of where, like where I'm going with what baits and, and for what reason. But yeah, so that is one thing that I wanted to go over was leaving those fish. So yesterday, Ace and I were out on the Aquaquan Reservoir. I'm going to post that video later this week, but this instance comes up very, very clearly where I found fish, we left, and then we came back and hit that spot multiple times, and it really, really pays off. So that is definitely something you guys should keep in mind when you're fishing this spring is once you find some fish, make sure you go back and give that spot the old milk run. So... That is a video that we'll be posting later this week. Make sure you keep your eyes out for that. Second thing I wanted to go over, um, and I 
been using these rods for about a month and I've been using them before in the past, but I got two new rods here that I want to share with you guys. You guys have seen them in the videos, but um, these are both power rods which I got at the Richmond Fishing Expo and these are two of my new favorite rods, no doubt. So the first one I got was the Powell Endurance, so this is kind of their flagship bass fishing rod. This is a 610 medium moderate fast. This is going to be my square bill, jerk bait, and top water rod for the year. Uh, this thing is my new favorite setup for sure. Also, my uh, friend Matt traded me, I had a Tackle Warehouse gift card. He traded me for the uh, Lose Team Pro and the Lose Team Light Reel. Both of these are like super sick. The setups themselves are so light, like I, it doesn't even feel like I'm holding a rod. It's insane, but um, to talk really quickly about this endurance rod, I needed something for jerk baits and top water, and this thing is just so nice. I mean, it has a really strong backbone, but it doesn't have that super quick tip, so it's not going to rip those hooks out of the fish's mouth. Um, it's extremely light. I really like that it doesn't have any cork up front, so you're just straight on the blank. Um, yeah, overall, just a phenomenal rod. And so I bought this at the expo, and then they were giving away their mistake rods for free. So this is Powell's mistake rod. And what this is, is the Powell Inferno. But what they did, they accidentally put the wrong color guides on there. So as you can see, these are the Fuji guides. I think they're Fuji guides. I want to say they're Fuji guides. We're going to call them Fuji guides. Like they are Fuji guides. Okay. Um, but they're supposed to be all black all the way around. And what the distributor did or the people that were making the rods accidentally put the silver ones so I guess they got a huge batch of these and they were giving these mistake rods away with the endurance when you bought one so this is just a rebranded um, Powell Inferno and I fished the Inferno before when I was actually out on the California Delta with my buddy Joey and Josh they uh, had a bunch of power rods and they were letting me use them. But I've also used the Max 3D rods and a few other pals, but uh, they're a great brand. You know, I met the owner of the company, he's a super nice guy, his name's Keith. I've also heard some really good stories about him through a couple of my other buddies like Steven and Matt. So they're just a great overall company. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Those rods are super sick. But yeah, that's just gonna about wrap this up. I've been fishing a ton, so today's the 27th, it's actually my birthday. I've fished probably the last five days. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and edit. I'm gonna knock all of that out hopefully today. So over the next four or five days, be expecting some new videos coming out. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for all your patience with the videos coming up. I'm gonna start doing a better job with scheduling these things. I'm thinking like a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday morning schedule um, with maybe another extra video here or there throughout the week because especially with this time of year. This is my favorite time of year to fish. I'm trying to fish like as much as possible. But we've had some good ones over the last four or five days, a couple musky hunts, a couple bass fishing trips. So make sure you guys are on the lookout for those. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe as well. See ya.